black fly strange looking, yet practical design arouses the curiosity and skepticism of many at first glance. This aircraft's particular design simplicity is the key to make it robust, affordable, safe, and convenient for mass adoption. In this video, I will explore the three characteristics that in my opinion, make Opener's black fly design truly innovative and potentially disruptive. The design of EVTOL aircraft is driven by five degrees of freedom, payload, speed, range, noise, and simplicity. These degrees of freedom are strongly interlinked and the improvement of one parameter often disadvantages one or more of the others. The three most common categories of EVTOLs are Multicopter architecture A relatively simple configuration that can be very efficient during vertical takeoff, landing, and hovering. However, without wings, multicopters lack cruise efficiency. Lift and cruise architecture, these merge the multicopter for vertical takeoff and landing with a standard aircraft for cruise flight. This allows the aircraft to achieve both efficient vertical takeoff and landing and efficient cruise flight. It is essential to use small size propellers to reduce aerodynamic drag during cruise, but this limitation significantly increases noise due to high tip speed. Tilt rotor architecture, these involve the wing and propellers or the propellers alone tilting. This comes at the price of higher technical complexity and larger overall size and weight due to the tilting mechanisms. To see more on EVTOL categories you can watch this video by clicking the link in the top right corner. Marcus Lang, founder and CEO of Opener, came up with a design that combines the advantages of the architectures previously mentioned while minimizing the disadvantages. For vertical takeoff, landing, and hovering, the Black Fly has the efficiency and controllability of a multicopter. The fixed tandem wings give lift during forwarding flight and improve cruise efficiency. All of these without the need for a complex and heavy tilting mechanism. The Black Fly can transition from hover to forward flight by varying the speed of the propulsors. However, one of the big downsides of a tilt body architecture is the varying positioning of the operator, along with the aircraft, during the different stages of the flight. From a starting horizontal position to around 50 degrees inclination and hovering with the nose up. In cruise flight, the pitch is around 40 degrees with the nose down. The operator's visual during hover and especially during landing is very limited. Might be useful the addition of a small camera underneath, along with a screen in the cabin to help in these situations. It's important to mention that it is possible to take off in a more horizontal position if there is enough runway. The landing gear consists of a rub strip on the bottom of an amphibious hull and a small rubber bumper on the rear of the fuselage. The lower edge of the winglets are skids that limit the vehicle's roll when it is parked. The choice of this type of landing gear allows a considerable reduction in weight and cost. Also minimizes the aerodynamic drag during cruise flight. Black Fly's weight is 343 pounds and the limit for ultralight aircraft is 254 pounds. But the Black Fly is an amphibious ultralight vehicle. The Federal Aviation Administration gives an extra weight allowance to aircraft with amphibious capabilities. A custom vehicle cart is provided with each black fly. The dolly allows a single individual to easily move the aircraft over unfinished surfaces. A pilot license is not needed to fly a black fly, but Opener requires that all operators successfully complete the company-mandated vehicle operator training. Opener plans to run a two-day training program for onboarding new operators who purchase Black Fly aircraft. The program will be completed on Opener's proprietary simulators, which consist of controls modeled after the real aircraft and run unique code meant to simulate the EVTOL's behavior in flight. This fully autonomous flight was operated by a manufacturing manager at Opener. She does not hold a pilot certificate. Yeah. She did a what we call a demo flight. So what this allows uh, a customer to do is uh, for their first flight is to, after training, to sit in the aircraft and uh, basically sit back and uh, experience what it's like to do a takeoff, a cruise flight, uh, turn around, come back, and diagonal landing without actually requiring any input from the operator.
Although the lack of pilot certification might raise safety questions, Opener maintains that its aircraft is extremely safe for anyone who chooses to fly it. The Black Fly has what Opener calls triple modular redundant systems, meaning that there are multiple built-in backup systems that will sustain flight in the case of a failure. Flight stability is software controlled, with modes for cruise control, return home, auto land and geofencing. Opener states that the Black Fly has a sound level of 72 decibels at 150 feet of distance. In comparison, a car on the highway is 76 decibels. I believe the noise emission of 72 decibels Opener claims is measured during cruise flight. In this stage of the flight, the noise is considerably lower than during hover, takeoff or landing. In order for Black Fly to become mass adopted, I think Opener will have to improve the noise emission of its aircraft. The high tip speed of the blades is the main generator of noise in EV tall aircraft. The Black Fly features a tilt body architecture. This gives Opener an extra degree of freedom when designing the propellers. But the downside of having big multiple blades propellers is the higher torque needed, which translates to bigger and heavier electric motors. This could be the reason that is limiting Opener from using different propellers at the moment. Future improvements in propulsion system technology could greatly help to correct the Black Fly noise profile. Although the price is not known yet, Opener previously announced that the price in mass production would be similar to the price of an SUV vehicle. According to Opener's CEO, the final price will be disclosed during the next two months. The price uh, has not been uh, finalized at this point, but uh, will be in the next uh, month to two months.